welcome and I hope you you follow this channel called 10 reason why or 10 things why God created Adam 10 things or 10 reason why God created Adams my friend number one he is a working man not home playing video games or eating Fruit Loop cereals Number two, he's where the wealth flow through, not just playing or paying for, for child support. Number three, he's the wonder in the home. Four, he is the wisdom to his children so they can't be brainwashed. Five, he's the one that's supposed to know the word of God. Six, he's the one that's supposed to love and cherish his woman, not verbally or physically abuse her seven he's the weather controller in the family eight though he's uh, wounded he always rise and learn from his pain nine he's the one that institute wedding days to be married not to be divorced and ten and let me say this my friend why God created Adam. God didn't create Adam to be a deadbeat. God didn't create Adam to don't know his sexualities. God didn't create Adam to be brainwashed. God did not create Adam to be locked behind the, the cell like an animal. God didn't create Adam to be a drunk. God didn't create Adam to smoke weed and died of lung cancer. God didn't create Adam to be an alcoholic and died of cirrhosis of the liver. God didn't create Adam to be a pimp. God didn't create Adam to beat on his woman. But God created Adam to be a king, to have a queen right beside his side. God created Adam. To take care of the animals, not to have sex with the animals. God created Adam to be the ruler, not to be a puppet, not to be programmed, but to be a man of God to his children and to his community and to his church. God created Adam for a purpose. And I'm a tenth reason. He the one that walk them, guests in the home, not to stay and be freeloaders. Many women should have an Adam that loved them dearly. <laughs>